80 years ago today, fighter jets from Imperial Japan converged on Pearl Harbor. 350 bombers, fighter and torpedo planes launched from six aircraft carriers in two waves with their eyes set on the base just outside Honolulu. A day that will live in infamy. The attack propelled the United States and President Franklin D. Roosevelt to declare war on Japan and officially enter World War II. It was that attack that prompted one now 99-year-old Jacksonville man to serve his country. He remembers the day he left to train for war. After that surprise attack by the Japanese, Congress required all able-bodied men between the ages of 18 and 64 to register for the draft. I'd come back and clean up. <laughs> Willie Robinson Sr. knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to volunteer. So in his words, he enlisted, eagerly volunteered to win World War II, despite not knowing what lie ahead. We were traveling. We had a leader, and he led us to which we, which we had to go. Some went left, some went right, some went straight ahead. Robinson served as a telephone lineman and truck driver. His job was not without danger. He worked to make sure the lines of communication were maintained and the supply chain was replenished. You go from company to company, we had problems coming back. Coming back home, we had problems. Trying to even shoot at you. Trying to get you. I know about 50 to 20 guys got killed. Going from company to company. Willie Robinson's service didn't end there. He wore the uniform proudly in the Korean War as well, then served in the Army Reserves. And without hesitation, he says, he'd do it all again. Why? Because I fight for my country. By the way, this American hero will celebrate his 100th birthday in April of next year. And he set quite the example for his two sons. His service inspired his boys to join the Army as well.